Hey yo, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, beautiful people of the internet. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video, and welcome back to another lovely edition of the News with Nate. We're gonna get right into the topics today. We got some spicy ones, a little Saturday weekend edition of the news for you that I had to bring to you. Some big things to talk about. Right before we roll into that, scroll down and hit that subscribe button, and then also, a little further, check out first link in the description. You have two days left to snag up something from the Dreamer Fall Collection before it goes off the site. Right now I am wearing the beige oversized tee with the nice Dreamer brand in there. I got the dad hat on, spun around backwards. We got sweatsuits. I'm actually wearing the uh, sweatpants as well. They're super, super cozy. Everything fits a little bit oversized. It's relaxed wear, it's fall wear, it's to and from the gym, chilling with your homies. It's just the best. So scroll down, first link in the description, check that out, and let's just roll into the news. <laughs> All right, so. Interesting, interesting, interesting conversation today. This is a story that I've been covering for the past year and a bit, and it's one that I plan to continue covering because honestly, it is very entertaining. What we have to start this whole thing off, Dave Castro posting on his Instagram, in 2017, Ricky Gerard took second at the CrossFit Games. Incorrect, <laughs> incorrect, he took third. Incorrect, anyway, poor Ben Fikowski. Shortly therefore after he failed his drug test and his result stripped and he was banned from the sport for four years. His suspension is up on October 3rd. In December, he competes at the Dubai Fitness Championships. Welcome back and good luck, Ricky. All right, Dave Castro posting, doing what he does, stirring the pot, playing the villain. If this guy ever tries to tell you that he doesn't like the limelight, that he doesn't like being the center of attention in the CrossFit space and stuff, this guy likes it, he's smart, he's bad. like, kudos to him, I have nothing against Dave. I'm just telling you, this is marketing at its finest. This is villain marketing. This is the Jake Paul of CrossFit. He's, he's got you all wound up on his little finger and he's like, I know how just to get people to be pay attention to me and be a little bit annoyed with me. Boo. This is it, he's doing it. Anyway, do I think he should have got an invite to Dubai? That's kind of the big piece of news right now is that he's the first invited athlete to Dubai, which I don't believe is having an online qualifier this year. They're going like, well, purely invite only. That seems a little unfair. One of the main comments in the comment section of the video, hey, we work really hard. We've worked really hard. We don't take drugs. Where's our invite? Because obviously, I think they're just going with that top 20 system again. A lot of athletes are gonna be left out of this competition. So there is sour grape taste in people's mouths about the fact that he got the first invite to this competition. However, I think at this point in time, like we're all kind of over the whole, like just like throw him in the mud. Like he's coming back. We know that we've accepted that. Hopefully he comes back clean. We've talked about this before. I personally am not like rooting against him. I'm not really rooting for him. I don't just whatever. I'm interested to see how he goes and how the competition goes for him. But it is definitely funny to see Dave uh, pumping his tires in the way he does. Also, his brother Benny Gerard posting a repost of Dave's post and the writing. It's been one hell of a journey to get him through the last four years. Looking forward to showcasing his determination, resilience, and love for the sport in the Dubai Finnish Championships. It ain't over, just getting started again. Brother, it's your time. You're here to stay at Ricky Gerard. And then we also have the Dubai Fitness Championships reposting and commenting. Welcome back, Ricky. First athlete of the 2021 season announced who's looking forward to finding out the rest. So, I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's going to be controversial. People are going to be upset about it because like I said, number one, he's getting the first invite of the year. Does he deserve it? He hasn't competed in the last four years. Obviously he did come third at the games, but he was on drugs. So are you, is he still that fit? I don't know. All his Instagram videos, he's who knows? Like there's a lot of unknowns going in here. And so I think people are probably going to be upset that in one of the three biggest off season competitions, he's getting one of the first invites. But then I guarantee you there's going to be an equal amount of people that just tell all those people to just get over it. And like, it's fine and it is what it is. And I think Dubai, like Dave, is kind of smart and understands that by inviting Ricky, they're going to have like double the amount of eyeballs that they would on their competition because everyone, whether you want Ricky to come back and see or you want Ricky to fail, you want to see him. It's again, like this Jake Paul effect, like this Dave Castro effect. Like, why do you keep following Dave? You might not like him, but he says things that are controversial and that get you fired up and you want to see what it is. So you just stay there. Whether you're rooting for him or you're rooting against him, whether you're rooting for Ricky or you're rooting against Ricky, you're going to tune in to watch the Dubai Fitness Championships and you're going to want to see how he does. So, I mean, it's it's a business move, I'm sure, by the Dubai Fitness Championships. I think it's a smart one. It's going to bring lots of eyeballs to the sport. Is it great for all my friend, athlete friends who, you know, might be one invite out? Because of this, I mean, I don't know, but it kind of is what it is. This is all a business at the end of the day. So, interested to see how that plays out, but that is the news on Ricky's return. His ban is officially up in like a few weeks, October 3rd, and it looks like Dubai is gonna be his first competition back. Some other news, kind of similarly related. 
athlete Larissa Kuna, who we talked about on the show earlier this week, Morgan Shawcup officially posting that she received a minimum sentence from CrossFit after proving banned substances were contaminated. So obviously after receiving her four year ban, she was able to go in and prove that her supplements were contaminated. I covered all this in video earlier this week, so you guys can go check them out. But looks like CrossFit has amended her sentence, which is cool. I think that was kind of what we were hoping for. Like everything she said to me turns out, I guess, to be true. That was one thing that obviously I had no proof of what she was saying, if it was actually factually correct or not. Turns out definitely is. I mean, I didn't personally doubt her, but to stay unbiased, I had it. Anyway, turns out it is. She proved it to CrossFit. They obviously were happy with the proof that came out to show that the supplements she took were in fact tainted and now receiving the minimum sentence, not having to complete her full four-year ban which is cool. I mean, good kudos CrossFit, good for you, because I think just keeping her with her four year ban after she proved that her supplements were in fact tainted and it was not necessarily her intention to be taking those tainted supplements. I think it's only fair that they do this and they reduce the ban. I think it would have been a little bit extra to keep that four year ban on her to serve a sentence similar to someone who kind of obviously was taking the drugs like Ricky because his brother also popped for the same thing. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I think the fairness was served here and I think CrossFit did a good job handling it. Obviously, Larissa setting the precedent being one of the first CrossFit athletes to prove tainted supplements to actually go down that route that we all have been like basically since Ricky like yeah right yeah right yeah right she actually goes down and she proved it so I mean I don't know maybe it'll make us think twice when we judge someone immediately who pops for it and then claims that it was in their supplements but anyways man that's all I got for you today just wanted to bring you those couple pieces of weekend news very interesting stories comment down below let me know your thoughts on all of it definitely gonna be a huge one in the comment section below so get down there drop your two cents thank you guys so much for tuning in scroll down hit that subscribe button we got day in the life videos coming back next week i'm shooting the next episode the first episode back on wednesday so if you guys are excited for that scroll down hit that button to be the first notified when it gets posted uh, scroll down a little further you have until Sunday to snag anything you want up from the Dreamer Fall collection. And with that, I'll leave it here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, fam. Peace.